Hi, this is John from Funko Pro Classes, and today's tutorial is about how to keyframe your audio levels in the timeline in Funko Pro, or as they call it, the project. So let's get started, super easy. So here I have, as usual, a random timeline, but I structured it so that I have an intro here where I want the music to play full volume. I have somebody talking here, which I want the music to drop down, and I have some B-roll, I want the music up, and then I want the music to drop down again. So here I have my music, it's also at full volume where I want it here, but not here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my timeline a little more visible. I'm going to make it a little fatter so I can see better what I'm doing and a little bit longer. So here I want my music to drop down while she's talking. So a couple ways I can do this. If I pull the audio levels down, I don't want to drop the music down for everything. If I open up the inspector, you can see that the audio levels are the same here and there, those slider moves. You also have a keyframe here, which you can keyframe, but I'm going to do it easier on the timeline. So if I want the audio levels to drop during this clip, if I hold down the Option key when I get those double arrows, I'll get this little arrow with a keyframe signal on it. And I will click the keyframe there, and you can see that little diamond there. And you need two keyframes to pull something down in the middle next to each other. Because if I just put a keyframe here and here, when I pull this line down, it pulls everything down. So you have to get two keyframes next to each other. So I'm gonna put another one here and another one here. And now I can pull the line down for the music so that the music fades while she's talking. I can also move these keyframes around. I can adjust them up and down. I can adjust them left and right. So you can always adjust them after you make them. You can keyframe anywhere in the clip. Another way you can do that is first let me get rid of these keyframes. I click the clip and go to the volume here and I'll say reset perimeter. And it resets the clip back to its original volume. I'm going to pull that down a little bit. Another way you can set that is using the range tool. So here, if you go to the range tool and you click a range, so I'm going to click from here to here. When I pull inside that range down the volume slider, it makes the keyframes for me. So it did the exact same thing that I did uh, a little bit faster. So if I click out of that, I'll go back to the selection tool. And I can adjust these uh, left and right. I can adjust them up and down how I want. Another reason you can use keyframes is to get rid of a peak in a clip. So let's say, for instance, here somebody drops a book. So I'm going to make this even bigger so I can see the peak better. So here, let's say somebody drops a book. So I just want to drop that peak down a little bit. So again, if I get right on the, the line, I get the double arrows, hold the Option key down and click a keyframe, and then go to the other side of the peak, hold the Option key down and click a keyframe, and then click one in the middle, and then pull it down, and you can see that peak disappears. So then you can get rid of that peak without having to adjust all of your audio in the audio timeline. So I hope that helps you understand a little bit how to use keyframes to adjust your audio. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. Like or subscribe if you like, and see you next time. Thank you.